Absolutely. Well, you're also in a park that hosts one of the biggest expansions ever, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And earlier this week, I don't know if you heard, Garrett, but uh, the Walt Disney Company had its fourth quarter earnings call. And it looks like executives admitted that uh, doesn't sound like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge did what they expected it to do. I mean, it's a billion dollar expansion. A lot of things yeah. went into promoting it. I mean, I feel like it, we've been talking about it for years and it yeah. finally opened up this year. And now it looks like uh, they didn't receive the boost they were looking for. And mm -hmm. then on top of it, it sounds like uh, spending is up just slightly, but that's only because of price hikes and like food and merchandise. What do you make of that? Mm -hmm. I I grew up watching Star Wars all the way from the original uh, trilogy to what is now happening to be, I guess, the final trilogy. We'll see if they don't want to pump out more uh, and expand upon the, Sky the Skywalker saga. But... Um, I think a lot of the reason there's a decline in just the attendance would be that it's not a finished land. Mm -hmm. They opened it up, and while it looks phenomenal, you only put in one of the two attractions that you're supposedly going to have. And so I think if you're a, a guest with, like, say you're a, a normal family, uh, like husband, wife, couple kids, and you're like, hey, let's go to Disney World. Oh, but they don't have this other ride. Why would I spend my money on that? So I believe that because it's not fully finished, they're not going to spend their money right now. Probably once Galaxy's Edge is finished both here and out, so you guys are at Disneyland, I think that will then attract people in there. But until that time, um, I don't think it's going to have much of a boom because people want the full thing. If you only are giving them half a cake, like it's still a cake, but it's not in a full cake. You know? It's a slice of cake. Not the yeah. whole thing. Um, Absolutely. Uh, Tyler, Katrina, thoughts on the earnings report and, and Galaxy's Edge not being what people thought it was going to be? I mean, I kind of knew it was going to happen. I don't. I didn't like, know, <laughs> but I mean, when they are notorious for doing uh, staggered openings, it's just kind of lackluster. And you, you know it's opening, you go see it, and then they're like... What what rating of the ride would I say? Like, it's like what ticket? What like kind of like ticket oh, ride would it I, oh be? Oh man, I would probably call I it a D ticket. That's I what guess. I was gonna say. I don't know. Uh, anyway, but I would honestly say that you're starting out with that kind of ride, and you're paying a whole bunch of money to like build droids and build lightsabers. It's just kind of like I I would just rather wait and to wait for like you know the E ticket ride. And, yeah. and you know, make a bang for your buck with your whole family because you're planning it for like years out to go to Disney World. Yeah, and, and to top it all off too, it's like one of the things that they talked about on a regular basis going up, leading up to Galaxy's Edge was the fact that there would be a lot of character interactions and droids and just all these different things like that. And none of that ever even came to fruition. So um, I'm hoping down the road they keep on adding more and more stuff. I I heard rumors that they were uh, looking for casting for a stunt show, things like that. So uh, that's what I think that land needs. It needs to have that kinetic energy and feel more alive. And um, and I think it'll help it a lot. I, it just feels unfinished at this point. Whoa! Come to this happy place. Welcome.